welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Casey. Today I'm going to go over how to quickly build 3D sketches which will be used for creating weldments. For this example, I'm going to be creating a 3D sketch of a shed frame. In part 2 of this video, I will be adding weldment features to a 3D sketch to finish building my shed. The trick to making 3D sketching simpler is to model a solid body of the structure you want to create first then use that model to assist with 3D sketching. To do this, I'm going to create a sketch profile of the shape of my shed. After sketching the shape, I will add some relations and dimensions to fully define the sketch, then extrude the sketch to the depth I want. Next, I'm going to start a new 3D sketch. Once my 3D sketch is active, I'm going to select all the edges from my solid model that will be used in the frame of the shed. To select multiple edges at once, I hold down control on the keyboard. After all my edges are selected, I will click Convert Entities. Now that I have my base shape, it is very easy to add some additional lines that will be used to locate my studs for building this shed. I like using automatic relations when 3D sketching to add along Y relations as I sketch. Next, a couple quick dimensions are added to fully define everything and my sketch is complete. The last step is to get rid of the solid body. To do this, I can either hide the body or I can use a delete body feature to remove the body completely from my part. Thanks for watching another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Be sure to tune in for part two of this video where I will be creating weldment profiles to add to this 3D sketch and complete my shed model. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.